Hello viewers, today uh, in my video I will be talking about the KS that is the chi-square test. This is the variation of the KS test which I have uh, told in the previous videos. So some of the steps remain same. So let's get started. Now first step is to determine the uh, hypothesis. Now this is same as the KS test as we have written H0 and H1 hypothesis. That remains the same for this test as well. Next, you have to divide the total number of observations. Now, in the question, they may be given 10 observations, 50 or even 100 observations. So, that observations you have to classify into mutually exclusive number of classes. That is this small n. Remember, this is the total number of classes and this is the mutually exclusive classes. You will group th those classes. And you have to choose this n such that this ei. Now, ei is the expected frequency. EI is the expected frequency and it should be greater than or equal to 5. Now this is a uh, default value taken for chi-square test. Next you have to compute the test statistics. Now this is the formula for computing the test statistics for chi-square test. Now uh, this says that chi-0 square is equal to summation of i from 1 to n oi minus ei the whole square upon ei. Now this chi-square test is the approximate uh, chi-square distribution that you are going to determine after you run this algorithm. Next is the OI. OI is the observed frequency. EI is the expected one and same as a denominator. Now this EI you have to take in the denominator and you compute this for uh, N stands for uh, any. Uh, if 10 are there then you will run from 1 to 10. That's it. Now step 4 is to determine the critical value of the given LOS with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. Now, if you take the n as 10, you have to compute 10 minus 1 that is 9 degrees of freedom. Now, this value of this LOS will be taken from the statistical table of chi-square distribution. Now, in the question, they may given you the value or you will have to remember for only some values. Now, necessary that you have to remain, remember all the values. Next, you have to compare this calculated value with this determined threshold value. If this calculated value is very much greater than this threshold value, you will ultimately reject this hypothesis that H0 will be rejected. Else, you will state that there is no difference between the detected sample distribution and the uniform distribution. Means, you will accept the hypothesis. Now, remember this chi-square test is used to determine the dependency between two set of samples. Now for example, if this is set 1 and this is set 2, then this chi-square test will be used to determine if some points of S1 are related to S2 or some points of S2 are related to S1. So it is just a uh, comparison or to determine if there is some dependency relationship between two of this test. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe.